welcome it's Keith Brown tack room devotional we're talking about seven keys to running our race well and uh, it comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 24 through 27 do you not know that those who run in a race all run but one receives the prize run in such a way that you may obtain it and everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we do it for an imperishable crown. Therefore I run thus, not with uncertainty. Thus I fight, not as one who beats the air, but I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. Now yesterday we found out the very first thing we need to do is we need to engage. We need to, um, proceed start the race we can't stay in the starting blocks we in order to race you got to come out of the starting blocks today we not only proceed but today we also pursue notice what it says in verse 24 run in such a way as to get the prize in other words what are you running for know that there's a prize first of all we need to know that there's a place to start but we also know there's a finish line and at the finish line there's a reward amen now we talked about this for when we looked at Philippians uh, a couple months ago Philippians chapter um, 3 and verse 13 Paul says brethren I do not count myself to have apprehended but one thing I do forgetting those things which are behind me reaching forward to those things which are ahead I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus notice he's talking about our everyday life the things that we do he's saying I can't let the past determine where I'm going amen you can't think about past races and 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 your history of what you've done in this competition in the past or to destroy you you need to forget those you need to now focus on the prize in front of you and it's at the finish line and you need to run that way just like it says here I press towards the goal I press I I pursue this thing aggressively I press towards the goal of the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus once again we need to do that look at um, uh, Timothy 2nd Timothy chapter 2 and verse 5 and also if anyone competes in athletics he is not crowned until he competes according to the rules so the rules are involved but the rules are still meant to um, make us pursue that prize that the rules are there to say you have to compete this way but you still compete and you don't focus on the rules you just make sure the rules are in place I need to know my scripture I need to know how it works apply those to my life and now I press I aggressively pursue that prize that is at the finish line amen let me grab my other notes here we must be willing to take action we must be willing to change our attitude we must be willing to keep moving even when we feel like giving up you can't give up in order to win nobody wins that prize unless they could they complete uh, the run they have to run to the finish line and then the prize is right there then also notice it talks about the fact that the prize that we run for here in this life is imperishable because we know everything is is you know gonna burn up but we run for a prize that is that I'm sorry we run for the prize that is imperishable the prize here on earth are, is perishable you know we all die that's a fact of life and we you know like you look here at my place I love my place but let me tell you someday I'm not gonna be around to enjoy this anymore so this is not what I focus on because this isn't this isn't the uh, finish line my finish line is when I'm in the presence of God when I'm there forevermore in eternity with God himself so I can't let this distract me from my walk with God amen I hope that makes sense um, we we run for a prize of righteousness and righteousness there means um, right standing it with God in other words I have to have right standing before God in order for me to even be able to compete but then to win the prize I have to be uh, righteous here's the good news the Bible says he has made us his righteousness see he's already run the race he's already won we talked about the fact the last couple weeks or two weeks ago that Satan is defeated he's already defeated 
see Jesus has already won this race for us, but we still got to run the race. Uh, even though it's won, we still got to run the race. So you and I need to focus on the finish line. We need to press towards the goal of the prize of the upward call in Christ Jesus. That should be in the forefront of our thought every morning when we get up. Today I'm going to run a race that pleases my Father and uh, brings glory to Him. Amen. Hey, I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Thanks for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek Him and serve Him.